Okay, in this example problem, this is about how to account for trading securities. We can see here that it says blue company made the following transactions in the common stock of green company. <clears throat> On July 10th, 2009, blue company purchased 10,000 shares at $45 per share. On September 29th, 2011, they sold 2,000 2000 shares for $51 per share and on August 17th 2010 they sold 2500 shares for $33 per share and the end of year market prices for the shares were as follows and so we have that information here and so what we want to do is to prepare the necessary entries for 2009 2010 and 2011 assuming the green stock is classified as a trading security. So, our first entry on July 10th, 2009, Blue Company purchased 10,000 shares at $45 per share. And so, these are our journal entries right here. We have a credit to investment in trading securities of green stock for 450,000 and a debit to cash for the same amount. And it's pretty straightforward. It's $45 per share times 10,000 shares. That's all that one is. Our next transaction on December 31st, 2009, that is for this right here. It's an end of the year adjustment. So these are our journal entries for this. You have a market adjustment to trading securities. That's a debit of 20,000 and an unrealized gain on trading securities of 20,000. And the reason for this is the adjustment is made because at the end of 2009 the market value of the shares are now $47 per share and they were purchased at $45 per share. So 47 times 10,000 is 470. So there's a $20,000 adjustment that's made to the market adjustment trading securities account and the gain is unrealized obviously because we're not selling the stock yet um, we just need to make that entry on December 31st so our next journal entry is September 29th 2010 and what it is is blue company purchased or sorry blue company sold 2000 shares for $51 per share so these are our entries for that and we have a debit to cash for 102,000. We have a credit to realized gain on sale of securities of 12,000 and an invest a, a credit to investment in trading securities green stock of 90,000. So the cash is just 2,000 shares times $51 per share. It's 102,000. That's the cash we received because we sold the stock. There's a credit to realized gain on sale of securities because the shares were purchased at $45 per share. So we credit the investment in trading securities green stock account for the book value amount, which was 2,000 shares at $45 per share. That's 90,000. And the difference right here is the 12,000, and that's what we credit to realize gain on sale of securities. So again, the investment in trading securities, um, that's the amount of the stock that we sold, the number of shares at its book value which was $45 per share. Okay, now on December 31st, 2010, we have another adjusting entry. And if we look at this, the shares are now worth $39 per share. So they've gone down in value. Let's see, 2010. Okay, and so this is our entry. We have an unrealized loss on trading securities for 68000 and a market adjustment to trading securities, um, a credit of 68,000. So on this, okay, this is a kind of a big explanation. So the shares were purchased at $45 per share and we have 8,000 shares left. So that's sitting on our books at 360,000. And at the end of 2010, the market value per share has dropped to $39 per share, which gives us a total value of $312,000. So $360 um, minus 300, 
and 12,000 equals 48,000. But the transaction on December 31st, 2009 raised the book value of the green stock to 470,000 and the sale of the 2,000 shares on September 29th, 2010 lowered the book value by 90,000. That that left the value on our books at 380,000 instead of the 360,000. So the adjustment to get it to the current fair value of 312,000 needs to be an adjustment of 68,000, not 48,000. So um, make sure you understand that part. And and these are just the accounts um, that we're credit debiting and crediting. So our next transaction is on August 17th, 2011. And on this date, we sold 2,500 shares for $33 per share. So that this is our entry right here. We debit cash that we received for 82,500. We have a realized loss on the sale of securities for 30,000. We credit investment and trading securities green stock for 112,500. So the uh, the debit to cash is just the 2,500 shares times $33 per share. That's pretty straightforward. It's 82,500. The realized loss right here, um, it's realized again because we're actually selling the stock. And the shares are being sold below the book value. And so this is the book value of the shares that we're selling. We're selling 2,500 shares and they are on our books at $45 per share, which equals 112,500. So that's that journal entry. And our last entry is on December 31st, 2011. So the value's gone down again to $31 per share. So this is our entry right here. A debit to unrealized loss on trading securities for 29,000 and a credit to market adjustment trading securities for 29,000. So the reason for this and this is, you know, it's the same idea as the last adjusting entry on December 31st. The book value of the green stock was at 312,000 and it was then lowered by 112,500 after the sale of the 2,500 shares on August 17th. That put the book value at 199,500. On December 31st, 2011, the market value per share is $31, and 31 times 5,500 equals 170,500. So the adjusting entry to get our book value of 199,500. Um, down to 17500 is 29000 so that is that's the reason um, for this 29000 right here